5 million people. Uh, reason I come here, I will be doing a public lecture at UCLA and USC and also a speaker at Milken Institute uh, Global Conference. Yeah. Only five days, but ini juga sudah pulang lagi, kempen uh, lagi dan sebagainya. Uh, to tell you a story about Indonesia today from my perspective, ya. Yeah. Ekonomi so far is doing fine, but 5%. Uh, my city grow 8%, so one of the strongest economy yeah, in Indonesia. Uh, Indonesian middle class is 50 million. In 17 years, predicted will be double to 100 million middle class. This, mi this middle class is is a big buying power. They travel anywhere in uh, Indonesia, or some to US also. Uh, they buy iPhone every two years, for example. Yeah. So this middle class will be good for if you want to open a market shop. For example, seperti Panda Express, that would be a good tujuan hidup, serving public kan gitu ya. Kalau saya berhasil, Pak, anak-anak generasi bawahnya kan akan ikut juga. Kalau Pak Ridwan Kamil bisa, saya juga bisa kira-kira begitu. -kira. Nah, the problem sekarang itu, sistem politik is very costly, Pak. It's very costly. Uh, juga the votersnya itu not all very rational. West Java, Pak. 33 million voters, yeah. 50% emotional voters. Waktu saya kampanye visi misi, Pak Ridwan, I don't understand. Just give me the t-shirt. Nah, ya, gitu ya. Itu setengah votersnya begitu. Itulah kenapa demokrasi kadang-kadang dimenangkan oleh orang yang tidak kompeten, tapi banyak duit. Itulah kenapa uh, orang kaya saya perlu disupport supaya Indonesia demokrasinya makin lama makin baik kan? Kalau nggak jangan di tempat ini. Nah, Jawa Barat yang saya akan running ini is a very big market, 47 million people. 40% industri di Indonesia itu lokasinya di Jawa Barat. Tadi middle classnya juga luar. My vision of farm uh, in, in West Java, I'll be more than happy to assist ya kira-kira. Produk apa saja yang laku di Amerika, tapi Bapak nggak punya kebun kan, bisa kontak saya. saya I have a project called One Village One Enterprise to to, to reduce the gap between the rural and the urban. I will create a company, One Village One Company. Produknya apa? Saya belum tahu. Tapi kalau bapak-bapak ada satu produk yang bisa saya bawa, tapi saya suruh warga-warga miskin itu untuk memproduksi. So it's a, it's a bit social business lah. Yeah. It's still making money, but the production house is not in one location, but within homes of uh, villages in rural. Itu satu uh, visi saya. Kemudian I focus on uh, entrepreneurship. Yeah. Kenapa? Karena Indonesia ini budaya wira usahanya masih lemah. Jadi sebagai government, saya mendorong kemudahan-kemudahan. Saya sudah lakukan tiga hal, Pak, untuk small business. Satu, I remove the permit for small business. Yang tadinya harus pakai permit, sekarang my policy no permit. Ya. This is a breakthrough. Enam bulan saya lakukan no permit, 30 ribu perusahaan lahir. Di mana-mana, small business. 
Yang kedua, I give uh, microfinance up to 3,000 US dollar no interest and no mortgage ya, tanpa jaminan tanpa bunga. Yang ketiganya, saya bantu mereka memutus yang pelaku teroris itu di Jawa Barat. Jadi kalau mau peduli Indonesia damai, tidak ada konflik, peduli Jawa Barat juga. So I'm the guy lah kira-kira gitu ya. Saya kalau jadi gubernur, memastikan tidak terjadi lagi kebencian kebencian. Di bicara apa Pak? Ekonomi. Saya ada projek namanya satu pesantren. Satu produk, misalkan ikan, ya, saya kemarin uh, satu pesantren, ternak ikan lele, income 3,000 US dollar per month, they have uh, 20, 4 kolam, ada 20 kolam, itu ikan lele dijual, buat income-nya. Job, security, religion. What is it? Economy. Top three, jobs. Number two, uh, buying power. Yeah, buying, buying power. power. Yeah. They think the the daily uh, food, yeah, uh, is too high the price. Number three is infrastructure. So if I can fix these three economic issues. So it's not concerned about religion, security. Jadi, yeah, that's why I try to create one village, one company. Yeah, I have 6,000 villages in my West Java. In order for them not to migrate to urban, I want to keep them in the village, but I have to give them jobs, right? So if I set up a company, uh, the product I can find whatever good in the market, yeah. So they can stay in the village, have a minimum wage like in the city. So I can give wealth to villagers. Yeah. Number two, uh, access to finance. Uh, we have been successful to have this microfinance. No mortgage, no uh, interest, the profit sharing, up to 3,000 US dollar. It's very popular. It's like Grameen Bank, uh, the Grameen Bank Muhammad Yunus. Yeah. So for infrastructures, uh, I will do the PPP, Public-Private Partnership. So this is also for you. Uh, in the future, you build us the hospital, the schools, I will pay you for 15 to 20 years in premium rate. That's how they do in UK, that's how they do in South Korea. So the private sector build the government infrastructure, the government public service. So it's, it's not B2B, it's B2G. Because government doesn't have all the money, so we ask the private sector to be selfish to the public. Then we have a long contract for 20 to 30 years. Yeah. So if as a governor I win, I can use the economy strategy, creating one madrasa, one product. So they have to be independent in economy. But again, I have to engage with the business people. Yeah. Uh, I, I told them uh, last month I went to one madrasa uh, behind the school. They have a fish pond for business. And with a good management, they earn 3,000 US dollar a month for selling the catfish. catfish. So the madrasa now much better in the infrastructure and also salary for the teacher and so on and so on. So if I apply this to 11,000 madrasa, one madrasa, one uh, product, yeah? and some product hopefully from America, maybe, I don't know. I think I can fight terrorism through economic strategy. Jadi banyak sekali concern dari orang-orang kita, orang-orang yang ada di luar.
membuat untuk bicara soal bisnis kan itu tak hubungannya juga dengan stabilitas politik ya jadi ada sebanyak orang dari sini tak mau pulang lagi karena instability dari sisi politik nah, sekarang dari kita kita yang bisa bicaranya soal minoritas orang Kristen gitu itu merasa unsecure kalau bicara bisnis di kampung halaman kita sendiri karena sekarang kan banyak sekali apalagi Jawa Barat jadi mungkin agak banyak sekali yang merecokin yang orang Kristen orang saya bilang tadi kalau Bapak tidak peduli, Bapak akan mendapatkan pemimpin yang juga tidak peduli. Paham ya, Mas saya. Kalau Bapak peduli dengan kebebasan beragama, keyakinan, walaupun beda suku ya, Bapak harus pilih orang kayak saya. Because I, I stand for Pancasila, Pak. I used to be a minority also when I live in US, Pak. Kan? Jadi saya, saya paham. Jadi waktu saya jadi government, saya melakukan kepemimpinan itu. Makanya kalau Bapak Cue, oh, they, they must report by mobile phone, by app. So, when I said no permit, still they have to inform the government what is your business type, where is the location, and... So register? Yeah. But there is no yes, no for the application. You can just run the business. So I have the data because they report using the phone in the mobile. When you said permit, it means there is a bureaucracy. Yeah, there is a chance you got rejected. Yeah? This one is 100% approved. A young person set up recycling business. They collect the mineral bottle, plastic. Kumpulin. They chop it into small pieces to become a plastic pallet. And they sell it back to some company. Lah. So the lady, a poor lady who do the clean up and chopping, lah, they earn minimum wage. So it's not always about the agriculture. Sometimes anything that makes money. Lah. So plastic company in one village, maybe seafood company in the next village. Maybe whatever company can make money. Sebetulnya banyak sih pak idea-idea itu pak. Kalau satu kampung, satu bisnis ya pak. Di Jepang berhasil pak. Ya untuk pemakaian di Indonesia aja juga sebetulnya banyak idea sekali ya pak. Sekarang ini semua yang pakai kotak sudah demam kesehatan ya pak. Banyak orang mau back to the back to the basic, back to natural. Baik dari Saya yang pemeliharaan ayam, telur, ikan, ya. Tapi yang dengan cara basic, maksudnya no chemical style, gitu. Yeah, atau kita tak pakai ni. Kalau untuk tanaman organik, tapi kalau untuk binatang-binatang itu no chemical, gitu. Ah, one example, pak. Itu market Betul. banyak, pak. Betul. Sebetulnya. I give you one opportunity ya. Uh, Kabupaten Tasikmalaya, they produce organic rice. Itu marketnya di Eropa, di Amerika besar. Kalau Bapak tertarik, bantu kami memperbesar pasarnya. Gitu. Organic rice itu dijual di Indonesia 20 ribu. 2 dolar lah. 